luck is a very important component, but not to the extent where it blights everything else that you do and you've just got to rely on sheer luck, because that doesn't work. Passion and knowing that I can put a team that can win together. If you don't have people, you don't have anything. You can have all the money in the world. You can have the best racing car, but if it's not crewed properly, then it becomes potluck whether you win or not. And finally, this year at the Petit Le Mans, Ferrari wins. And Risi Competizione ends with their first win of the year. As a child, going to hill climbs and local races in Sicily, it's something that just just happened as a child. I liked uh, miniature cars and played with them all my life, really. And the noise attracted me, uh, racing cars and aeroplanes. There was something, um, there was something real magic about it, but especially cars. The smell of the cars, the smell of the fuel, and it, it was just something extremely invigorating. Uh, there was nothing else. I had no other experience like it. But it's always a dream. Uh, as an Italian to one day be able to race a Ferrari. I knew it was going to happen. I didn't know exactly when. <laughs> Sebring is one of them. Why Sebring? Because Sebring is really a track which shows preparation of the car and the team, you know, all together. Ferrari versus Ford, we've seen that over the last 18 months. And again, that battle is on with Tony Vlander going all the way around the long way, down towards turn seven, last of the late break as Vlander cuts to the right hand side and into the middle of the road and takes the lead. Preparation of the car is paramount because, you know, cars fall apart at Sebring. But I rubbed Road, uh, Road Atlanta, Spectre 1000, the uh, particular Mar, and we won the very first one with a 333. New design of current head of Road Atlanta. And they can taste the champagne already. And in the booth here, Davy Jones has tasted a scene like this because he drove the car to victory, just like the Ferrari has been driven to victory here. I think IMSA is probably the finest GT championship in the world. The drivers who race in all kinds of different championships are very happy to come and race here in the United States. He switched on him, he gets the inside run. Oh, no. They enjoy racing here because the competition is, is extremely invigorating. It's always been that way. IMSA has always been that way. We talk about hard luck in racing. I don't think there's anyone like Giuseppe Risi who's had so much heartbreak over the years, but he keeps coming back. He's got a great group there. When we won our first Le Mans, it was still a race where you kind of paced yourself. The last two Le Mans wins, oh, that's just flat out, really. There's no, there's no pacing. You, you're just on a 24-hour sprint. You know, where everybody relies on each other and they feel that they have truly been part of a team. It's, it's something they look forward to. They have the same dreams about Le Mans. We're passionate about racing. We're passionate about Ferraris. Green, green, green calls on the pitch radio. Look at Melander trying to do something on Westbrook and Westbrook covered it. Unbelievable, look at Westbrook covering the inside. Where will Tandy go? The Ford right on the inside gets a nudge from Vlander. They're both going to go off, and Nick Tandy's going through to the lead. Oh, oh no, he's hit. Tandy's hit by the Ford. They want this so bad, Cal. Oh, yeah, look at that stack up there. Huge Vlander down to the inside. That's for the lead. We're looking at it right in front. Vlander accelerates. He grabs the lead from Dirk Werner. Tony Vlander is on fire here today. Here comes the Ferrari looking for the lead. Busy color looks for the lead. Busy he takes Hensler. Left handed coming up. He got him. What a move. Risi Competizione, Ferrari, win GTLM. That is some strength that we have not seen over Whoa. on the wet yellow lines. Up on the wheel, whipping that horse, and it goes to the front. What we enjoy, we want people that are watching this race to enjoy the same thing. They may not really like Ferraris, but just enjoy motorsport for what it is, because it is a fantastic sport. And that's what keeps the passion the flame burning. Welcome to one of the greatest spectacles in motorsport.